Now it wants us to graph this and to write the interval. If we see a compound inequality like this automatically, we can pretty much assume that this is an and statement, all right? So we're looking at uh, negative 12, and maybe this is where zero is, so here's negative four. I, I guess I don't even really need that there. Okay. Did you say compound inequality is an All right, what does make this a compound inequality, by the way? Well, we do have two separate ones. We got a negative 12 is less than or equal to x. And again, this is an and statement. So this is x is less than negative 4. It'll make sense that it, that it is an and statement here in a moment. So let's look at this. I'll do this one in red. Negative 12 compared to x, this one's eating the x, so it's going to go to the right. And since it's also equal to x, we got a square bracket right there. This one we'll do in purple, so at negative 4, uh, this one's not eating the x, so it goes to the left. And would have a curved bracket because it's not equal to. So this is the graph. I mean, if you want to use a different color, because you have some colored pencils, and you like coloring, right? That looks pretty. Uh, but the interval, again, is just a sandwich between these two numbers, comparing negative 12 and negative 4. And then we just put a comma between that. Now it doesn't look so much like an ordered pair, which may be helpful. I don't know.